Game Talk. It is time for Game Talk, where we talk video games. But uh, but before I get into this, we got a very interesting article. All of this stuff's really relevant. Everything's kind of kind of meshing together. I love it when that happens on Sovereign Tech. Um, but Stephanie and I, we, you know, we were talking about. Uh, the NoFap movement, and I just wanted to announce this. I don't know. I mean, anybody who's like seen my Facebook page will know, but I'm actually the non-hierarchical president of. <laughs> it's the, a collective, is it? <laughs> yeah, of, of of the GoFap movement, uh, which you know I, I readily support uh, everyone's right to, or you know, uh, <laughs> hashtag GoFap. GoFap. Yeah. Anyway, I don't need to say anymore. You know, you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, you know, and if you want to be a member of the GoFap community, please feel free. Go to your room, uh, you know, in the bedroom or, yeah, I mean, you know, I wish legally you could do it outside, but go fap. Uh, and then you'll be a part of the movement. So uh, anyway, <laughs> is that um, fap is a male term, right? Yes. I but mean, I think it, 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 it goes across the board. I yeah, mean, I, pretty much. Yeah. I would think, I, I don't know, for women, it might be more appropriate to say like go rub or something like that. Go or, rub. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like I like go rub. Okay, go rub. You know that that's that's fine. I have plenty. You know, I I have a lot of female listeners. Like I have a lot. And, yeah, and I I am you know so why? glad. Why is that? <laughs> you know why? It's because you don't hate women. I think that might be it. Yeah. But what does that say about all the other podcasts? Oh no. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you have a really interesting show that is interesting to all people regardless of their gender absolutely thank you very much for saying that stephanie yeah um okay so this week game talk we talk video games and this story comes from kotaku and oh this is a doozy uh i (laughs) unbelievable uh and the story is i sold my video games to pay for my wedding and said goodbye to a part of myself Oh my uh, gosh! Yeah, okay, I, re- I, I want to hear this. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to skim through some of it. So feel everybody, feel free to go to the show notes, sovereigntech.com, and you know you can read this for yourself. Um, but stacks of games sit around my living room as I organize photographs from my phone. I log on to eBay and check prices. Uh, I list a few games. I sell one almost immediately. That one doesn't surprise me. Tales of Symphonia. Uh, it's one of the rarer in my collection, and I had expected to make quite a bit quite quickly. eBay user number one meets my expectations. Uh, we had finished our wedding budget a while before I began selling games. I've been asking myself where all the money is going, and I've yet to come to any sort of satisfying conclusion. Conclusion. Planning a wedding is an expensive project, even if you try and cut as many corners as possible. Yep. Yeah. Uh, our wedding isn't even that big, but it's big enough. And when you have an expense this large and you don't have enough money to cover it, you begin to look for ways to raise some dough. Tonight, I started selling my video game collection. You know, just as a quick aside, I know some couples who have gotten married and they like went into debt to pay for the wedding. And it's like, oh, yeah, you're starting off a life together and you or uh, it, married like you probably lived together before that but you're starting off your marriage with a bunch of debt like that's a stress yeah right? I, yeah i mean i am I, and and i'm sure to pay for this big party exactly i'm sure most of my listeners are already well aware of this but i am anti-marriage that's not, i'm not saying if you got married or if you want to get married somehow you've done a moral evil i'm not saying that okay i'm just saying that i don't get the point uh i've been married and it, it was a mess. And that uh, does that color my perception on it to some degree? Maybe. Uh, but then that's also experience where I can say, hey, uh, you know, there's problems here with this institution. And I mean, you can get married in New York for 50 bucks. You know, I right. mean, that that's that's all it takes. Well, that's the legal marriage license. Right. right. Yeah. So, I mean, well, yeah, really, you can get I married. I just think we need to deconvolve the love from the the piece of paper and the legal and stuff. And the ring. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get, yeah. What, what, you know, I, I made this claim in the past that, you know, if, if a piece of paper and a ring are required for you to, to somehow advertise and secure your love for one another, you've got more problems than money. You've got more problems than anything. I mean, because that, that should not be necessary at all. Right. Well, uh, the, pe- the piece of paper and the stuff surrounding it kind of reinforces this paradigm of love that maybe doesn't work that well for everybody yeah yeah we've or, certainly seen high rates of marriages failing you sure know, 
sure. over time. So yeah, sure. clearly it doesn't work for everybody. But anyway, we got off track. No, that's go okay. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Uh, in an American tradition, we go out to stores and fill out gift registries asking for nice things we'd like our friends and families to buy us. We place things like dishes, pots, pans, furniture on the list, hoping we'll receive some of them. Uh, why do we do it? Don't most of us already have dishes, pots, and pans and furniture? Why do we need more? For some of us, it's simply a matter, a matter of wanting nicer things. For most of us, however, it's symbolic. We're creating a new life with this person, and we want new things for that new life, even if the old things were perfectly fine. I mean, is anybody listening to this? Like, going, what the hell is this guy talking <laughs> he about? He sounds really confused. Oh, yeah. He sounds like he's desperately trying to fit into these cultural conventions, but he doesn't really agree with them in yep. his heart of hearts. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> exactly. All I'm hearing here is this guy saying, oh, I'm a big boy now. Yeah, Time this, to is put what, away the toys. this is what everybody's always told me I have to do. I guess I got to, you know, buck up and do it, right? Yeah. There's no uh, other choice. Yeah, ab- absolutely crazy. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead even more, and pretty much I'm just going to cut to the chase here, uh, where he says, I still have some video games. As mentioned above, there are a few titles that hold a special place in my heart, and I will never get rid of them. Yeah, right. Uh, my video game closet, however, is remarkably empty. The auctions are over, I've received my payment, and the games have been shipped. There's nothing left to do but look at our wedding budget and decide how to best apply the money. I'm not sure what video games will hold for me in the future. I'm sure they'll be there. They've been too important over the years to completely let them go. However, it's important that I don't forget that I will no longer be alone in life. I will be part of a pair, part of a duo. My time will no longer be my time. Just as her well, hold time, on. <laughs> oh, just as her time will no longer be hers. It will be our time, and I'm not entirely sure what that will look like. Oh, what? <laughs> Why would you voluntarily enter into a situation like that where your time is no longer your time? It's like, and he's thinking of that like like this is this completely normal thing that everybody has to do. What? I mean, oh yeah. Wow, I'm oh, shocked. Yeah. All right, I'm I'm going to read a little bit more then we get to talk more. Uh they say the first year of marriage is the hardest. All right, no, no, I've got to stop. Then why do it? <laughs> If it's so fucking hard, why are you even bothering? What is, this guy just got rid of half his life. I mean, Tales of Symphonia, he probably sold that for quite a few hundred bucks, if not more. What is he doing? He was proud of it. He's like, I know the value of this. And he's thro- he was, not only that, but he's throwing away his former lifestyle, and he has no idea what he's going to do in no, the new lifestyle he, yeah, he's right time saying, is not his own. Right. I don't know what this is going to hold for me. Are you kidding? You're going ent- to sign a contract. With someone, and you have no idea what what comes into that. Yeah, and like it's it's almost like the people who wait until marriage to have sex. It's like, what are you do? Like, so <laughs> while he was, so this means while he was dating his wife, he was still playing the video games, and he's never not played the video games. But once they sign that magical contract, oh, he's going to suddenly yeah. stop. That makes no sense. Yeah, you know, there, there's a T-shirt out and there, and he has no idea what it's going to be like. Yeah, there, there, there's a T-shirt out there. Okay. Uh, that that shows a man and a woman about to get married. It's like an eight bit, like in graphics, and then at the bottom of it says "Game Over." <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Uh, no, th- this is th- our time. You know, I, I I mean that is just mind boggling to me that it's they kind of scary loss of individuality. I mean, your time yeah. is always your time. You're your own person, even if you're part of a relationship, even if you love somebody else. You are still your own person. Right. And and if, you know, if the video games is such a big deal, which it seems to be, I mean, this was this is very serious for for him to go through. Uh why isn't your partner into video games? You know, well, like yeah. like if if it's that much of a part of your life. Now, it's okay. I mean, the, you know, a person doesn't have to perfectly match, you know, you, uh, you know, t- to be happy or to have a, a life, af- you know, happily ever after or whatever. Okay. But like, if it's this crazy, you know, uh, wow. And in fact, I mean, these games. Yeah, it's a big part of his life. Yeah. And I mean, these games are going to pay for his wedding. That's huge. Right. Yeah, maybe he's even like a pro gamer or something, and he Might makes be. an income off of it, and his wife maybe doesn't share that interest or doesn't yeah. like the video games. Yeah, and that you bring... Go ahead. be a problem. Yep, and you bring up a great point. Is Talk about societal stigmas. Mm. The stigma that somehow games are for little boys needs to go away, because let me tell you, some of these little boys, some of these little boys are 30 years old now, and they're making a million dollars a year playing video games. Some of these little boys are 15 and they're making a million dollars. Yeah, sure. And a lot of women, a lot of girls doing the same thing. Mm. They are up in lights. 
Yep. Okay. Yeah, they're famous. They get sponsorships. Oh they yes. Win tournaments. Yeah. yeah. This 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 societal you know idea that oh video games are, are for kids that's got to stop. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like there's the, this whole article. I mean, it smacks of just wrong, wrong, wrong. To oh me. yeah, yeah. But the whole the biggest problem that I see is that it doesn't seem like he really wants to do this. It sounds like he's convin- trying to convince himself that, yeah. he, that this is like what he has to do or what he's supposed to do, but he doesn't really want to. He's not actually living authentically, no. which would be to keep his video games and choose to spend his time however he wants to spend his time, right? right. It sounds like he's kind of saying that he, now when he's married, he doesn't get to choose how to spend his time. And to me... The way I think of a loving relationship, whether it's a marriage or whether it's a relationship or what, I think of that as a person I'm voluntarily choosing to spend my time with and I'm wanting to be around, not somebody who's a ball and chain, who's forcing me to do things that I don't want to do and to give up my interests and hobbies because they want me to spend time with them. Yeah. And and it just like... It should be... You should want to be there. If you're in a relationship with someone, want to be there. Yeah, absolutely. Do it voluntarily. Yeah. Otherwise, you're the state. Yeah, because <laughs> the, the, right. <laughs> this whole thing just it smacks of sacrifice, and it's uh, you know yeah, and, sacrifice. Uh, that's and, right. And it's that's, a big cultural meme, isn't it? Yeah, and that you know okay. There's people who say, well, you know, you can get married and you can have a very self aware marriage, you know, and no. This is what people think of marriage. This is perfectly, perfectly representative of how people feel about marriage. Throw the whole fucking institution out the door. Get rid of it. Toss it. It doesn't work. It leads to this kind of crap. It leads to the the, the concepts of sacrifice. It leads to the concepts of the lack of individuality. It leads to all of these things, and it leads to pure unhappiness. Here he is saying, I've been playing... I didn't get to read this part, but there's a point where he says the role-playing games are the toughest to let go. I've been playing them since I could first pick up a controller. I first picked up a controller when I was six years old why is he getting rid of these things man don't get rid of it and if and if she told you no you've got to do it tell her no you need to leave (laughs) you need to get out of this house well he better save some games to fund his divorce in a couple years oh man i'm sure that's coming he's gonna binge when that happens because the divorce is coming i'm telling you anyway (laughs) i'll be back with more you need to calm down and go fap not sure what to get for that special person in your life this holiday season Look no further. Savory Scents Candles has something for you. Savory Scents aims to please with quality products and service. They even accommodate your special requests. Visit SavorySensCandles.com and be sure to check out the exclusive subscription boxes. That's SavorySensCandles.com. For 10% off regular orders, use coupon code FTL.